Hello, today we are going to talk about how to evaluate trig integrals. The first form of trig integrals we're going to talk about is the form of sine to the nth power and cosine to the nth power. So here are the three rules used to evaluate trig integrals. If the power of cosine is odd, siphon off a cosine factor and use the identity cosine squared x equals 1 minus sine squared x. Then use the substitution u equals sine x. The second rule is, if the power of sine is odd, siphon off a sine factor and use sine squared equals 1 minus cosine squared x. And then use the substitution u equals cosine x. The third rule is, if the powers of both sine and cosine are even, Use the half angle identities. Sine squared x equals 1 half times 1 minus cosine 2x. And cosine squared x equals 1 half times 1 plus cosine 2x. So now let's try the example, the integral of sine squared x cosine cubed x dx. We see that the cosine has an odd power. So we must siphon off one cosine. So let's do that so it becomes sine squared x, cosine x, cosine squared x, dx. We then must write cosine squared x in terms of sine. So using the trig identity sine squared x plus cosine squared x equals 1, we see that cosine squared x equals 1 minus sine squared x. So we substitute this back in, so it becomes sine squared x, cosine x, and then times 1 minus sine squared x dx. We then use the substitution u equals sine x, so du equals cosine x dx. So thanks to the substitution, cosine will cancel out, so we get u squared times 1 minus u squared du. Now we simplify, so u squared minus u to the fourth du, and now we evaluate this integral, u cubed divided by 3 minus u to the fifth divided by 5, and now we simply plug in back our u, so we get sine cubed x over 3 minus sine to the fifth x divided by 5. And that's our final answer. So now let's try the integral from 0 to pi sine squared x dx. So we see that the sine has an even power, so we must use the half angle formula. Sine squared x equals 1 half times 1 minus cosine 2x. So let's plug this back into here. So we get the integral from 0 to pi, 1 half times 1 minus cosine 2x dx. So now let's evaluate this integral, 1 half x minus sine 2x over 2, and let's this is from x equals 0 to x equals pi. So let's plug in the numbers. 1 half pi sine of 2 pi is 0. So now let's plug in 0. So 0 sine of 0 is 0. So our final answer is pi over 2. So now let's try the integral sine to the fifth x dx. Since sine is an odd power here, we must siphon off one sine. So it becomes integral of sine x times sine to the fourth x dx. Now we must write this in terms of cosines. So let's use a trigonometric identity, sine squared x plus cosine squared x equals 1. Therefore, sine squared x equals 1 minus cosine squared x. Squaring both sides, we get sine to the fourth x equals 1 minus 2 cosine squared x plus cosine to the fourth x. Now let's plug this back into the integral. 
So we get the integral of sine of x times 1 minus 2 cosine squared x plus cosine to the fourth x dx. Now we use a substitution, u equals cosine x, therefore du equals minus sine x dx. So now we plug this back in the integral, this will cancel out. So we get minus 1 minus 2u squared plus u to the fourth du. Now we evaluate this integral, we get minus u minus 2u cubed over 3 plus u to the fifth divided by 5. Now let's just substitute u back in, so we get minus cosine x minus 2 cosine cubed x over 3 plus cosine to the fifth power x over 5. Now let's just simplify, it becomes minus cosine x plus 2 cosine cubed x over 3 minus cosine to the fifth x over 5. And that's our final answer. Now let's talk about how to evaluate integrals of the form tan to the nth power x secant to the nth power x dx. So the first rule is, if the power of secant is even, siphon off a factor of secant squared x and use secant squared x equals 1 plus tangent squared x. Then use a the substitution u equals tan x. If the power of tangent is odd, siphon off a factor of secant x tan x and use tan squared x equals secant squared x minus 1. Then use the substitution u equals secant x. So now let's try the integral of tangent to the fourth x secant to the six x dx. So we see that secant has an even power here, so we must siphon off the secant squared. This becomes the integral of secant squared x tangent to the fourth x secant to the fourth x dx. Now we must write this term in terms of tangent, so we use a trig identity tangent squared x plus one equals secant squared x. Then Squaring both sides, we get 1 plus 2 tangent squared x plus tangent to the fourth x equals secant to the fourth x. So now let's plug in this expression for secant to the fourth x. So we get the integral of secant squared x tangent to the fourth x 1 plus 2 tangent squared x plus tangent to the fourth x dx. So now we must use the substitution u equals tan x. u equals tan x. So du is equal to secant squared x dx. So this cancels out and now let's plug in our u's. So we get u to the fourth times 1 plus 2u squared plus u to the fourth du. So now let's simplify this so we get u to the fourth plus 2u to the sixth plus u to the eighth du. So now let's just evaluate this integral. We get u to the fifth divided by 5 plus 2u to the seventh divided by 7 plus u to the ninth divided by 9. And now let's just plug in for a u, which is tan x. So it becomes tangent to the fifth power x divided by 5 plus 2 tangent to the seventh power x divided by 7 plus tangent to the ninth power x divided by 9. And that's our final answer. So now let's try the integral of tangent cubed x secant x dx. So we see that tangent has an odd power, so we must siphon off a tan x in order to get secant x tan x. So let's do that. So you get the integral of secant x tan x tangent squared x dx. Now, we must write this term in terms of secant. So we use the trig identity tangent squared x plus 1 
equals secant squared x. Therefore, tangent squared x equals secant squared x minus 1. Now let's substitute this expression back in. So we get the integral of secant x tan x times secant squared x minus 1 dx. Now we use the substitution u equals secant x. Therefore, du equals secant x tan x dx. So now let's substitute. So we get this cancels out, the secant x tan x, and we get u squared minus 1 du. So now let's evaluate this integral. So we get u cubed divided by 3 minus u. Now let's substitute secant x for u. So we get secant cubed x divided by 3 minus secant x. And that's our final answer. So the final forms of trigonometric integrals you encounter are in this form. One of them is sine mx cosine nx dx, which translates to 1 half sine a minus b plus sine a plus b dx. The other one is sine mx sine nx, which translates to 1 half the integral of cosine a minus b minus cosine a plus b dx. And finally, the integral of cosine mx cosine nx dx translates to 1 half the integral of cosine a minus b plus cosine a plus b dx, where a is the mx term here and b is the nx term here. So now let's try the example, the integral of sine 8x cosine 5x dx. So now we use the formula I showed you earlier. This becomes 1 half the integral of sine 8x minus 5x plus sine 8x plus 5x dx. Let's simplify this. becomes 1 half the integral of sine 3x plus sine 13x dx. Now let's evaluate this integral. So it's negative cosine 3x over 3 minus cosine 13x over 13. And now let's just simplify. So this becomes negative cosine 3x over 6 minus cosine 13x over 26, and that's your final answer.